Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the material price variance. We're continuing with our lessons on standard costing. And we've done the other formulas and explained them. You'll find those lessons in the links in the description below. So what did we say a standard cost is? A standard cost is a predetermined target cost that provides a benchmark against which to measure actual performance. So that is what we've been saying. That a standard cost is predetermined, that this is what you anticipate you should be able to incur, and then you use it to measure the actual occurrences or the actual costs that you incur. The difference between actual costs and standard costs is called the variance, meaning the difference between the two. The variance could either be favorable or unfavorable, and you'll see how that's applicable as we look at the material price variance. The standard material price is usually estimated based on past, present, and expected future prices and takes into consideration economic order quantities, supplier price quotes, and market conditions. So that is how a standard material price is set. Now, what is the formula for the material price variance? Well, here it is. It's very simple. It's a standard price minus the actual price multiplied by the actual quantity. So you do whatever is in brackets first. You do the standard price minus the actual price, you get that answer, and then you multiply it by the actual quantity. And pay very careful attention as to where you put what here. But it's actually a very simple formula to follow along. And remember here we are starting with the standard price because we are using it to measure our actual price. And if the answer that you get after doing these calculations in this specific order, standard price minus actual price, and then you multiply by actual quantity is negative, then you know that it's unfavorable. Now, how do we take note of this? Well, if the actual price is less than the standard price, the variance is favorable. And why would that be? It's because here we are paying for our materials. So if the actual amount that we paid for our material is less than the standard amount that we thought we were going to pay or that we expected to pay, then we know that we have saved some money. That is why it's favorable. So if the actual is less than the standard, then the variance is favorable because we paid less than we expected to pay. So always remember that if the actual is more than the standard price, the variance is unfavorable because we paid more than we expected to pay. So if you can pay careful attention to these two statements over here, and you can see I've highlighted where less is and where more is and what that means, whether favorable or unfavorable, then you should be fine with material price variance. And if you apply the formula as we have written it here. So let's take a look at an example that will help us understand how this formula is applied and how these notes are also applied. Here's the first example. We are asked here to calculate the material price variance. And here's the information. We are told here that the standard cost of material for Malva pudding was 2 kg per unit at 7 rand per kg. That is the standard cost. So always remember that this is the one that we are estimating or we are expecting to pay during the period. And we are also told here that during the period, 12,000 kg of material was purchased at 650 per kg. So this is the actual price that we incurred. We paid 650 per kg while we estimated that we would have paid 7 rand or we expected to pay 7 rand per kg. So we are asked to calculate the material price variance. Remember the formula. Here it is. We said it's the standard price minus the actual price and you multiply that by the actual quantity. Now, what is our standard price here? Well, it's very easy. We have been given here, we are told that the standard cost of material for Malva pudding was 2 kg per unit at 7 rand per kg. So our standard price is 7 rand. And what is our actual price? Well, we actually paid 6 rand 50 because we are told that during the period, we purchased 12,000 kg of material and it was at 6 rand 50 per kg. So the actual here is the 6 rand 50. So our standard price is 7 rand minus 6 rand 50. And then we multiply that answer by the actual quantity. And the actual quantity here is the 12,000 kg that we purchased. So that's simple enough. So here is how it will look. We have 7 rand minus 6 rand 50. And we multiply that by 12,000 kg. And it gives us 6,000 rand. 
and it's favorable. And why is it favorable? Remember the nodes we highlighted in the previous slide. We said if the actual is less than the standard, then it's favorable. And you can see here, we actually paid 650, but our standard cost was 7 rand. So our actual is less. So we paid less than we expected to pay and we're able to save 6,000 rand. And that is why it's favorable. I hope it's making sense here. Let's look at one more example and see how we apply the formula. We are told here that the standard cost of material for product D is 5 kg per unit at 3 rand per kg. And then we are told also that during the period, 25,000 kg of material was purchased for 78,000 rand. We are asked to calculate the material price variance and the formula once again is the same, the standard price minus the actual price and we multiply that by the actual quantity. Now, what is our standard price here? Our standard price is 3 rand per kg. That's easy enough. We're given and we're told. And what is our actual price here? Well, we are not given, as you can see, the actual price per unit, but we're given the total price or the total amount we paid for the material. So you can see we bought 25,000 kg of material and we paid 78,000 rand for that. So how do we get our actual price? Well, we're going to take the 78,000 rand, which is the amount that we paid, divided by the number of units that we purchased. So here it is. The actual price per kg is going to be the 78,000 rand, which is the amount that we paid. And we divide that by the total material that we purchased during the period, which is 25,000 kg. And it gives us 3 rand 12 cents per kg. I hope it's making sense. You can see here, you can be asked the question in a variety of ways, but you just need to know what the formula is and how to get the amounts that you plug in to the formula. If you're given the total amount that you paid, you just divide that total amount that you paid by the total material that you purchased and you will get the price per kg. So we have all that we need to do our calculation. The standard price is 3 rand. And then minus that by the actual price, which is 3 rand 12 that we have just calculated. And then you get that answer and then you multiply it by the actual quantity. What is our actual quantity here? Well, it's 25,000 kg. And now that we have all that, we can do our calculation. And what does it look like? Well, here it is. We have 3 rand standard price per kg minus the 3 rand 12, the actual price per kg. And we multiply that by the actual quantity of 25,000 kg. And it gives us... 3,000 rand unfavorable. And remember again, the note we mentioned, if your actual price is greater or is more than your standard price per kg, then the material price variance is unfavorable. Why? Because we paid more than we expected. We paid 3 rand 12 cents per kg of material, but we expected to only pay 3 rand per kg of material. And you can see why it's unfavorable. I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how the material price variance works. And if you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.